Hi. Hey, everybody. I know I came early, but I was rushing. I was rushing, trying to get all this stuff together. So I just wanted to um, talk about social norms and the, um, the idea that there's double standards when we are dating double standards, just period across the board, right? So, um, hi everybody. Hey guys. Hey guys. So I wanted to, uh, talk about this because a lot of times we hear men saying, well, women, what do you guys do? And what are you bringing to the table and blah, 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 blah. So I wanted to talk about the idea that everybody in every culture has social norms and they also have, um, things that are acceptable to, let me get myself together, <laughs> things that are acceptable to one um, division of people as opposed to other divisions of people. So, um, social norms. Some social norms that we have are, uh, like when we pick up the phone, we say hello, as opposed to goodbye. If you answer the phone and you say goodbye, people are going to be like, you know, that's kind of weird. If you, um, like if someone, we shake hands when we meet, um, that's a social norm. Or you give a hug or some sort of greeting when you meet someone. You, uh, let's see, what's another one? Um, you don't talk to yourself in public. That's out of a social norm. You keep your thoughts to yourself in most cases. That's socially considered normal. Um, you don't walk around with like an open umbrella. That's outside of the social norm. So certain things are considered socially normal in certain cultures. And um, I would stand and say that most things in dating are considered normal in a lot of cultures. We do kind of buck the system at times. Sometimes one thing will be considered normal as opposed to something else. So, you know, it just depends on who you ask. Um, but uh, in most cases, most things are considered normal. Let's take dating. Okay. The norm when dating is that the man is supposed to pay. It just is what it is. That's what is considered socially normal. If you are on a date with a man, be it, um, uh, a business date a whatever type of date, if you are a woman and he is a man, it is considered socially normal that the man pays. It is not socially normal that a woman pays. It's just out of the ordinary. And um, I was watching my um, good friend, of course, and she made the example of building a house. Most men are the builders. Most men are the ones who are um, doing the constructing and the hard labor and the outside and the heat and all this stuff. That's considered socially normal. If you see a woman construction worker, that's out of the norm. If you see a woman football player, that's out of the norm. So there are several double standards when it comes to certain things. Women are not, you know, you don't look for a woman at a construction site. Just like you don't look for a woman at a, at a, on a football team. It's just not how we do things here in this country, in America. So, with that being said, um, women have their roles and men have their roles. A lot of people say, oh, this is so archaic to think this way. I can do everything that he can do. Why can't women be equal? But if you think about it, like way back in the in my grandparents, great-grandparents' days and all of that. People stayed together for years. A lot of us know older couples who have been together for like 50, 60 years, right? And they got together when they were younger and they stayed together for, for who knows how long, right? It was because back then there was not this idea that, oh, I have to like him. Oh, I have to be in love or have to be whatever. So now we, um, we've changed it, we flipped it from what used to be socially normal is no longer socially normal. 
Now we have to be in love. We have to be infatuated with him. We want to, you know, have these certain feelings. Back in the day, you, your parents normally had about 10 children because your mom was doing her woman stuff and your, or the dad, and he was doing his dad stuff. Come home, trampoline, now we got another baby. Trampoline, now we got another baby. Trampoline, got another baby. So back in the day, there was lots of kids, lots of, a whole bunch of stuff going on, right? So, you, um, you have this idea of a man and a woman role. Now, the lines are blurred. So back then, they stayed together because the man went to work. The woman stayed at home with the children. She made sure that the children were taken care of. She was the nurturing role in the home, and he was, in most cases, the breadwinner. They didn't necessarily, um, she wasn't trying to be him, he wasn't trying to be her. Everybody was happy in their own specific roles, and it worked. Those people stayed married 40, 50, 60 years sometimes, because you were young when you got married, you, um, we're, you know, okay, I'm too old to live with my mom and dad, so now I have to get married, and this is just what we have to do. So you, um, you had this, you know, yin and yang in the relationship, not yang and yang, and not yin and yin. Now, women want to be equal to men. Men want women to be equal to them, and that's where the breakdown is coming in. If I will be equal with a man when he is able to carry a baby inside of his body and then birth it into the existence. When he is able to do that, then he, then I will consider myself equal to, to him and vice versa. If he can't do those things, then that means that we're not supposed to be equal. There are things that a woman is supposed to be able to do and there are things that a man is supposed to be able to do. The, so women, we have to carry the babies. We don't have men that are like, well, I know you're not ready to carry a baby just yet. I know, you know, maybe she needs a little time to prepare herself to uh, become a mother. So I'm just gonna, let me just take the baby and carry it for you. You will never hear a man say that because that is an impossibility. When women get into their mind that it is impossible for me to go 50-50 with you. It's impossible. It is impossible for me to be able to carry the weight that you're supposed to be able to carry. I cannot do that. Why? Because I am a woman. I have this role and you have this role. When you separate and you say, we're going to be compliments to each other. I don't want to be your equal and you don't want to be my equal. That's when you get better treatment. That's when your husband will start to treat you and keep you like a kept woman. That's when he will be able to keep you like a kept woman. When you play your role, then he will gladly, naturally play his role. When you usurp that and when you say, oh no, I can do it, I can do it, then he's like, okay, well, since you can do it, let me let you do it. A lot of us, including myself, would have gladly given our husbands the role of childbearing. I would have definitely been like, you know what, I'll go to work, just let me carry the baby, I mean, let me go to work and you carry this baby and go through this pain. The backache and the boobs growing and hemorrhoids and skin looking all crazy and fat necks and all of that. I would have gladly given my husband that role to go to work. Who wouldn't? But you can't. You cannot. So the fact that you cannot do that means there are some things that should not be equally shared among men and women. It just is what it is. Now, um, again, we've had this women's lib and, oh, women can do what men can do and all this other stuff come along. And a lot of women have jumped on that train and rode that thing till the wheels are finally falling off. But it's a new day. Um, women are waking up. Um, my friend Shira Seven and I are definitely contributing to this awakening, I believe, because um, we are uh, starting to be, what's the word? Sorry, pizza's here. 
but we are starting to be um, to make you guys aware to put into your consciousness that there are some things that should be shared and some things that should not be shared. There's a role for women and there's a role for men. As we're awakening the womanhood in society, in the world, in wherever this video is reaching across, it's making people think, well, hmm, should I really be equal to him? Should I really be helping him? Should I really be um, doing as much as he's doing? Because Think about it. Women, if it were not for women, women are carrying on the entire existence of the whole universe. Without us, no one would be here. No one. We have that ability. Men do not have that ability. Without a woman, they couldn't do it. So we're meant to work together. We're not meant to work equally. So that's really my stance on it. Um, what's with feminine women that don't want any children and don't want to make him a sandwich either? Is our role just to be pretty and admirable, um, admirable, justified, if we can justify it for ourselves, Mickey? Um, I feel like, um, see, here's the thing. I feel like if a man is totally taking care of my household, if I don't have to go to work, all I have to do is be at home, then um, I might clean up a little bit. I might get a wild hair every now and again and cook. I might, but it should not be my obligation. My obligation is to carry on the entire existence of the world. That's hard enough. Uh, you can make your own damn sandwich. I'm sorry. If th that's, that's like minimal, you know, that's very, very minimal. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Some people enjoy that. Like, okay, you go to work and I'll cook and I'll clean. I really don't do that. Uh, you know, I don't, y'all just heard, ding dong, the pizza man is here. The boys want a pizza tonight. That's what we're eating, you know? So I cook, I do cook and I clean. Um, well, no, <laughs> let me stop lying. I don't clean, but I cook. <laughs> I'm screaming on the inside, Amelia. Hey, Amelia P. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your donation. She says, Michaela, your knowledge has reminded me how to be true to myself and has changed my future. Gratitude. Oh man, gratitude to you. That is awesome. That is really awesome. See, and I think, I think that's why I kind of started this and kind of jumped on the train of this. And I'm hoping a lot more women do because it is, um, it is a very sad day when women feel like I have to do something in order to justify being a woman. You are a woman, so things are done for you. Like like uh, Shira Seven said today, you are houses are built for you. Men wouldn't even have houses if it wasn't for women. Men would literally live in caves and be okay with that. They wouldn't shower if it wasn't for women. They wouldn't go to work if it was for women. If it wasn't for women, they would be in the in the cave somewhere, killing animals and sucking the blood out of them and surviving off the land. If it was not for women, we require cars. We require air conditioning and houses and couches and beds and you know running water and you know stuff to clean the pee pee and all that stuff. We require that. So that's why men said, in order for us to have women. If we want some pee pee, y'all, we might need to start doing some stuff. So then they start building and creating and doing and being and serving for women. They don't build houses for themselves. They don't build houses for other men. They build houses for women and for children so that we can be comfortable. So that you are supposed to be comfortable as a woman. When you set the standard, when you go to a restaurant and there's only seating outside, right? Your response should be, oh, Oh man, I really love this restaurant. I wish they had seating inside, but do you think we could go somewhere else? I.e., my comfort is most important and I'll be darned if I mess up this wig and this makeup because they don't have seating and I have to sit outside. My comfort is important. As a woman, you're supposed to be comforted. You're supposed to be comfortable. You're supposed to make sure that your children are that way. So let's flip it. As men, you have to go to work. I teach my sons, all of my sons, if you want something from me, you have to work for it. Oh, mama, can you take us to so-and-so? 
I said, okay, so what did you do to earn that? Did you do anything to earn that today? Uh, is the answer no? Okay, so then my answer is no. Just like that. If you have not done anything to earn it, then this woman is not able to give you what you're requesting. This is also going to be the case with your wife. They also know. My son, I have a teenager. He knows. Uh, I told him, you cannot have a girlfriend if you don't have money. I'm not paying for you to go on a date. If you have a girlfriend, you're going to be going on a date. So that means you're, you need to have some money. You need to have some money in your pocket at all times. If you're a man, if you're a man, no one should ever hear you say, I'm broke or I don't have the money or we need to wait and save until I can do A, B, and C. That should never be the case. That should never be the case. If you are a man, you need money. I don't care if it's, and my, my preference for my children, my boys is foldable money. You, you don't get a quarter around here. You can get some dollars. You know, your piggy bank is not going to be like, chick, 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 chick. it's going to be like, with dollars in it. See what I'm saying? So I'm raising them to be men. I'm raising them that don't ever, if they ever say, well, I'm, well I ain't got the money. Well, you know what? If you don't have the money, then you don't deserve it. You have to teach them that you have to earn it. As men, you have to earn it. If I had daughters, I would be teaching her, you don't have to earn anything. You have to, let's make sure your fingernails is polished before we go somewhere. Let's make sure that hair is done before we go somewhere. Are you smelling good? Do you have your little bath and body works on? You got your lip gloss in your purse? You know, you got your little shoes to match your little socks and stuff? Let's, let's fix this hair. Do you want a pink bow or a purple bow? Which, which, what are we trying to do? This is what I would be teaching my daughter. Optimize the pretty because the pretty is going to be gone one day. When you optimize the pretty, then you can get a man that don't have a piggy bank like chick, 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 chick. See what I'm saying? The dasties. His piggy bank is going to say shh, 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 with them dollars in it. That's what I, that's how I would be raising my children or my girls if I had them. So think about it. There needs to be a separation. There needs to be double standards. I'm okay with the double standards. I'm okay with it. I have born children and I love that, that that is my role as a woman. Now, some women don't, you know, they feel like, oh, they don't want children and they don't, you know, whatever. And that's fine. But as a woman, it's natural that that is what we were created to do. We were, I mean, your body is to be, is, was created to carry a child. The fact that you don't want them does not mean that that's not why your body was created, you know? So as a woman, that's what I'm, I was created to do. So I've done that and I was happy with that. Was it hard? Oh yes. Three times over. It was very hard. I had complicated pregnancies. I had things go on in deliveries and you know, breastfed all of them until they were like two and, you know, so it, it, it came with a lot, sleepless nights and a lot, <laughs> you know, overweight, lose weight, overweight, lose weight, three times over. But, but I would gladly trade that for the three, the three children that I have now. I would also gladly trade it for the role that I play now. Though I did not marry a man of means, I did not. I didn't also did not marry a Dusty. I married a very generous man. I, I married a man who gives me his entire check. So I would much rather have that than to have somebody who is barely making ends meet and won't give me any money. You know what I mean? So that's, that's you know, that was the trade-off. No, he's not a millionaire, but he gives me all of him. There's not a millionaire in the world that's going to give you all of his money, you know? So um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, you know, uh, for now. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't get it twisted. He is, you know, going to be replaced with a somebody with more substantial income. But I would be stupid to let go of this for something that's a maybe. See what I'm saying? How do you heal from past hurts and traumas to get the life you want and deserve? Um, I, don't, I don't consider past 
hurts or traumas, and I've had plenty. I've had my fair share. Um, I concentrate on what is happening right now. Right now, there is not a devil in hell that can touch me because I have worked on my inner self. I have worked on my confidence. I have worked on my outside self. I have worked to change my appearance and <clears throat> I've worked to, um, to perfect my look so that I can get respect. Women are respected when they're beautiful. Women are not respected when they are not, basically. So you can command a room when you have pretty privilege. So I have worked to gain that. So I don't, I don't entertain what used to happen or what used to be. All the people who have previously hurt me um, are dead to me. When I say dead, baby, they dust. I have had a funeral in my head for every single one of them, and they no longer exist to me. Every person, every situation, I have had a funeral for it. I have buried it. It is gone. It is no longer in my world. So I have to, that's what I've done. You know, um, because if you linger on past hurt and you, you know, stay there, you're stuck in something that happened in, in 2011 while this person has clearly moved on and to bigger, better, more, greater. <laughs> Kai Marie! Kai Marie! Kai Marie! Hey, Kai Marie! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, Kai Marie! She didn't say anything, but, you know, she dropped the little coins in, in the bucket. <laughs> Pass the plate. Thank you so much. I, I really, I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Hey, Miss Donna, I really appreciate that, you know. So I concentrate on what's going on now. What's happening now? You stay in the moment. You guys will hear me say that a lot. When I feel myself being out of control and over emotional, as you know, I sometimes can be, I will do things to ground myself. I will do things to keep myself here and present and now, in the nowness of whatever now is going on so that I don't lose control and get back into that. But I have, I have really worked hard, hard to let that stuff and those people and those circumstances go, you know? So, um, yeah, that's what I've done. Yay, get that back, sis. Get that back, sis. Get that. Yes, I'm very emotional too. Um, you know, this is what it is. I like the, you know what? I like the emotions of people. That's why I like doing this. I like to feel. I don't want to block feelings because when you block feelings, you block your actual life from happening. So feelings are meant to be felt. I cannot stand people who are surface. If you've had consultations with me, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a consultation. If you won't hear, oh my God, I'm super late, sorry. But um, I don't like people who are surface. I don't like people who are, you know, I'll say, so So, what do you think about so-and-so? Um, then you're like, well, you know, I don't really know. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't like it. I, I, can, I don't like people who, if I can't be deep with you and I can't have feelings and things with you, then I have to, you know, I keep you at a distance like this. <laughs> you know, I keep you at arm's length because I'm very, when I feel something, I'm in it, you know, I'm in it. And it's okay to, if, if I get hurt, I get hurt. Ain't nobody ever died from a broken heart. Nobody ever died from, oh, they hurt my feelings. Oh, ugh. now I'm dead. You know, that never happens. It never, ever happens. So if, if, if my feelings get hurt, then it's okay. You know, I don't care. But you might want to care if you hurt my feelings because it get a little dangerous. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so people are like, I'm scared. Well, what if I get hurt? Well, what if he used me? Well, what if he tries to take advantage of me? Well, what if he... Who cares? Who cares? My thing is, what good is what good are people if you can't use them? You know? What good, what good is, are people if you can't use them? So... I feel like if people don't tell you about themselves, there's an agenda to hurt you. True. I think a lot of people try to hide themselves. But the, the good thing about it is I have a very discerning spirit. You can try to hide. You can, even over the phone, I can tell. I'll be like, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Why are you, mm-mm. I heard that uh, in your voice. What that mean? 
when you are very intuitive and you trust yourself, then you can learn to gauge the world around you. You'll get a feeling when you walk into a room and be like, oh, mm -mm, I got to go. You'll get a feeling when somebody is telling you something and you be like, stop lying. Quit lying. Why are you, got, why are you lying? Oh, my God. You'll get that feeling. Everybody has it. But you have to be able to trust yourself and tap into that. When you tap into that, it's easy to show people your true feelings. It's easy to tell people stuff like, yeah, I was a pick me. I was a pick me. Okay. You know, yeah, my husband is a dusty. Oh, well. It's easy to say things like that because there is no judgment. You can't judge me if I don't really care about your judgments. And if I don't, um, and if you're, if I, if I'm not, if I'm okay with who I am, then you can't judge me you know so there you go dang that got kind of deep what what they got to do with double standards <laughs> okay <laughs> oops okay so um double standards women are not expected to change tires women aren't expected to open doors for themselves women are not expected to do certain things you know Men are expected to do certain things. So just keep that in mind. There are double standards, but they're there for a reason. L allow them to serve you. Allow the double standard to serve you instead of feeling like, oh, I can't believe it's a double standard. You know, why can't I go to work like he go to work? Why can't I be a police officer too? Why can't my daughter play on the football team with all the boys? Why can't we be equal? You know, you can't be equal because you're not supposed to. So we can't sleep around. You can definitely sleep around. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do, you know. If he doing it, you do it, you know. Um, women aren't supposed to propose to men. That's also, you know, the truth. There are certain things that, as women, we should do and certain things that men should do because they are considered socially normal yes i'm independent that is the worst freaking now that used to be me that used to be me i n d e p e n d e n t you know oh man i was all about it got my own house i got my own car two jobs you know what the crap and then i'm sitting back like wait a minute wait 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 why do i need two jobs when i can just get a man hello men can work two and three jobs and feel satisfied Men love to work because they feel like I'm working hard to support my family. Give the people what they want. If he want to support his family, baby, give him a family to support. Why do you have to go out and be uh, doing everything? That's crazy. Is it because back in the day, women used to be abusive to their stay at home? Why? Yes, men, men are abusive, period. I mean, anybody is abusive if you allow them. I had a consultation yesterday with this girl. Well, I can't go outside in the dark because I got enemies and I don't want nobody creeping up on me and I don't know. And, um, and I'm like, first of all, why do you have enemies? And she's like, well, my um, baby daddy was abusive and he was this and he was that. And I'm like, girl, he was abusive because you had, not all men are abusive. Absolutely not. All men are not abusive. All men, all people will abuse you if you allow them to. No, they're, they're not abusive at all. They will abuse you if you allow them to. Men are abusive with people who let themselves be abused period. The first time he yell at you and you boil some water and throw it in his face, he might think again before he does something like that to you. I'm just saying. Oops, I slipped and oh, <laughs> did you get hit with that boiling water? Oh my God. Oh, do that hurt? You want me to call the police? You want me to call the ambulance? <laughs> That's what my six-year-old says, ambulance. But I'm just saying, when they when people sense a weakness in you and they sense, oh, well, you know, she might let me get away with a little something. She weak, she's scary. When people when people see that in you, not just men, women will be abusive to you. Mm -hmm. Am I married? I am, Michael. I sure am. 
So there you go. So there is a double standard. There is a double standard, but it's good. It's supposed to be there. Men are supposed to do certain things and women are supposed to do certain things. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what women do. Be okay with it. Stay in that. Oops, I got a call. I got a call, sorry. Uh-oh, y'all. Crap. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Oh, 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 sorry. I got a call, sorry. So, um, so yeah. Double standards are what they are and they are there for a reason. Enjoy yours. If you're a guy, get your money up so you can get a bunch of women, you know? I, so you can get a bunch of women. If, not a bunch of women, but so you can get a quality woman. If you are a woman, make sure you're working on your look and making sure you have pretty privilege and doing what's necessary so that you can continue to get the privileges that you have, you know? Double standards are there, but um, I think they're there to serve us rather than to hinder us or hold us back. So that's the video. I may do a part two because I actually have some other things to do. So we can have questions and talk, interact more about double standards and additional questions I may come back later um, if time permits. But yeah, I think uh, this kind of needed to be said. I was led to do this and then she mentioned double standards in her video and I was like, oh, oh, there we go. So I'm Michaela Pink. And that's what I think. Bye.